I am now very sick, and I'm starting to shake. That's how sick I am. Oh, no. Okay. You're starting to shake. <laughs> so now normally in a speech like this, we um, uh, talk about um, what the president's gonna say. Let me start out a little bit crass, and then we'll, we'll boil it down. I don't really care. Okay, guys, that's it. That's our first bet of the night. Will Donald Trump <laughs> say the State of the Union is tremendous? Mm. <laughs> no, he will not say that, but I like the bet that the if, if what Anna says is true, and of course I'm sure it is, it will defeat my prediction, which is, you know. Uh, that Melania does not show up. I said, uh, my, it was a I she is. She's right there. Can we see it? Oh, there, yeah. oh, she looks wonderful. Yeah, it is a great dress. It's uh, not a dress. It's a pants suit, yeah. but it's. The way you can tell is if something's a dress is whether there are pants, Jack. We're literally applauding her for marrying one. Yeah. This is the most applause we've ever had. Yeah. Yeah. Most applause ever for a, for a president. So a after a while. <laughs> they used to like the Klan until they found out the uh, I found out they smoked marijuana. <laughs> the President of the United States. Uh, so I. Uh, By the way, there's no there's no call for this. Like enough with the double applause. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's everybody crazy. She saved 40 people. Were they all going to die? We heard about. Who are we applauding now? Who's the? Who's no, no, this. Dude. He's not really being clear about who he's talking about. Thank you to David and the brave people of California. Thank oh. you very much, I David. I thought we probably talked over it. Great job. Nailed it. The Democrats are wearing those purple uh, uh, ribbons. Some of them are. Uh, Bernie was, Schumer is. What is it for? Ed Markey, I don't know. We have to look it up. And to remove federal employees who undermine the public trust or fail the American people. Yeah, no, this is, this is, this is, this is, uh, the purges? this is horrible. Oh, this is, yeah. And we have ended the war on beautiful, clean coal. Oh. <laughs> the right to try. Okay. Yes, I'm, I'm for it. Right. Yeah, I mean, look, like, yeah. that might be deregulating some drug companies. Well, of course it is. I'm right. saying if that were just what it is, yeah. That is why I've directed my administration to make fixing the injustice of high drug prices one of my top priorities for the year. Great. Good. Get yeah, on it. Yeah, good. Let's go. It. Good. Good. Good for you. And I'll give him credit if he does. Yeah, he it's won't. Real... But he won't. For decades, open borders have allowed drugs and gangs to yes. pour into <laughs> our most vulnerable communities. Yeah, yeah. They've allowed millions of... Neither of them came home. These two precious girls were brutally murdered while walking together in their hometown. Six members of the savage MS-13 gang have been charged with Kayla and Nisa's murders. Many of these gang members took advantage of glaring loopholes in our laws to enter the country as illegal, unaccompanied, alien minors and wound up wow. in Kayla and Nisa's high school. This guy's the worst guy. Evelyn, Jesus. Elizabeth, Freddie, and Robert. Tonight, everyone is grieving for you. Oh my God, he's a bad guy. This is why you don't stand for anything. If you're Tim Kaine, you don't applaud anything and you don't support anything. You work to keep him as weak politically as possible because as soon as you give him the tax cut, this is what happens, he has a huge victory, which he will tout for years. Because Americans are dreamers too. Yeah, he's a demagogue 101 now. I mean, I feel like I'm looking at Mussolini. It's so easy to do this, like, just find any family uh, who's lost a loved one. You know, if I had a son, he'd look like Trayvon. And they use it. I thought this was uh, one of his bravest speeches in office uh, and, and in a long time. For 1.8 million illegal immigrants who were brought here by their parents at a young age. Stop calling them that. No, no, not yet, not yet. Oh, they got a baby. They even got a baby. So they adopted the homeless woman's baby? Yeah, yeah, who was addicted to drugs. Right. Yeah, yeah that's it's absolutely a, wonderful. If we were Alex Jones, we'd be like, it's a fake baby. <laughs> it's an Antifa baby.
It's a false flag, baby. That story uh, doesn't meet my standard of there's uh, some details missing, it feels like. I recognized Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. You feel, still feel good about this, Bill Maher? Oh, he loves it. He's a total right winner on this issue. And by the way, I predict a lot of Democrats are standing. Uh, my yeah. prediction is... Uh, oh, Jesus, with the non-stop crying families. It's like Demagogue 101. Showing the grieving family members. Our heart goes out to them. What's the point? What are you going to do? Also, is that why you called the leader of North Korea a rocket man like you're a goddamn child? Which were very hard to get. In the process, he... Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, okay, we had an issue there, obviously. Uh, on the train there tracks. Was, the only part of that story that was annoying, other than the fact that it's superfluous, I mean, it's a great story. Oh, uh, thanks God, it's over. All right, guys, so here's the, the rest of the things that are going on tonight. Okay, let's watch. <laughs> Turn it up. The wealthiest person in this country have never had it so good, men. Oh no, come on. Mm. All right. Mm. Substantially raising premiums for older Americans. What? Oh, that oh. was weird. He glanced about a couple seconds before he looked Maybe away, he like, like somebody was saying, like, you know, the building's yeah. on fire. I want to thank TYT members for making this possible. TYTnetwork.com slash join. Uh, to become a member of the Young Turks, get all of our content, and uh, and you power this. We couldn't do this without you. And I want to thank the whole crew for being here and making this possible too. TYTnetwork.com/join. The Education Secretary is Betsy DeVos. Her brother is Eric Prince, yeah. who just got authorization to start his own private yeah. intelligence agency, uh, and that was put into the budget bill. And if anyone was going to take out Congress so their sister could yeah. become president, it would be Eric Prince, the former founder of Blackwater. Matt Gates, an actual Republican congressman, a United States congressman, was on Alex Jones' show the other day. And then during that appearance said, I can't believe people are charging me with believing in conspiracy theories. You're on InfoWars. 